everyone. Welcome back to my ch kitchen and welcome to another Sunday episode of Simple Suppers. Now this supper couldn't get any more simple because it's actually cooked before you put it together. What I'm going to make today <clears throat> is called a chicken corn blue, cordon bleu bake. Let me say that again. A chicken cordon bleu bake. For those of you who are interested, Cordon Bleu really is, stands for a blue sash or a blue ribbon. This was meant because this particular chicken dish was a prize winning dish. And that's a French saying for um, blue ribbon. However, it was invented in Switzerland, not France. Anyway, there's your history lesson for today. In fact, in France, it's, uh, if you remember, a real, honest-to-goodness chicken cordon bleu. It's a chicken breast that is pounded very thin and then lined with ham and Swiss cheese, rolled, and then uh, put into some kind of breadcrumbs or panko or that kind of thing, pan-fried, and then finished in the oven. So actually, it's a fried chicken breast kind of thing, which in Switzerland would be a schnitzel. So how it ever came out to chicken cordon bleu, I don't know, but that's what it is. And we're not making that today. <laughs> we're going to make a chicken cordon bleu bake. And we're using cooked chicken. So I have a rotisserie chicken. Interesting story. As I'm working, I will tell you the story. And ham and Swiss cheese and cheddar cheese, which is not part of regular chicken cordon bleu, and stuffing mix. So it sounds kind of interesting, along with some cream of chicken soup. Uh, it sounds really interesting. Now, I have a video for a really wonderful, delicious chicken cordon bleu casserole. And I'll link that video down below that uses raw chicken breasts and the ham and the cheese and breadcrumbs. And that is absolutely delicious and company worthy. But I just thought, I saw this recipe and I thought, well, this sounds kind of interesting. And it certainly is simple. I could put it together and eat it right then. But obviously you want to heat it up. So let me take you down to the counter and I'll show you the ingredients you're going to need to make this simple supper chicken cordon bleu bake. Be right back. All right, here are the ingredients. I have a casserole. Now the original recipe as written is supposed to make two nine by 13 casseroles, um, which is great because you could always make one and put one in the freezer for freezer meal. I'm making half of that recipe or somewhat half of it. So for I have got approximately four cups of rotisserie chicken here. Now, normally when I get my rotisserie chickens, I get a little piece of gristle there. Let me get rid of that. I get them at Sam's Club. And if you've been to Sam's Club, coming, I'm coming. <laughs> if you've been to Sam's Club, you know that their rotisserie chickens are on steroids. <laughs> They're really huge. But I went to my local grocery store, Publix, today. Uh, very disappointed, actually, today. I couldn't find... They had no corned beef. They had no pastrami. And they had one lonely rotisserie chicken that I looked in the bag. I said, is that a chicken or a Cornish hen? That's how small it was. This is every single morsel of meat off of that rotisserie chicken. And it's about three cups. It's not quite four cups. Anyway and anyhow, it's going to be plenty for us and we'll work with it. So we've got the chicken. We have got some deli ham. Just lunch ham. Okay. I have got some Swiss cheese that I'm going to grate and some cheddar cheese that I'm going to grate. One can of cream of chicken soup and a cup of milk, salt and pepper, 
and in the pan over on the stove I have water coming to boil to heat up one box of the chicken stuffing mix. Okay, so let's get started by grating some cheese if my grater will work today. As you all know, this grater has not proven to be a friend of mine because it won't stay stuck to the table. But it felt pretty solid when I put it on there. So let's just see. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. Everybody be quiet. So far, so good. Now, this is more chicken than I need for half of the recipe, but I'm just going to grate it all while I have the grater out here. And we'll use it for tops of salads and other things. My goodness, it worked. I love the grater when it works, but no matter where we put it before, I couldn't make it stick to the counter and it would start moving all over the place. Now let me get some Swiss cheese. And, it, you know, because the cheeses are always better, they taste better if you grate them yourself. But you don't have to. You can buy grated cheese. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, we got it almost all done before I lost the suction. In fact, I think that's all the Swiss cheese I will need. job. Okay, uh, I'm going to get the This is just a great value chicken flavored stuffing. And this would call, this called for two bags of this for the whole recipe. But we're doing one. And I'm just making it as the package directed. Roll dish. I'm going to open this soup and mix it with the salad. I mean, mix it with the milk. 
I was thinking what I'm serving this with. I'm going to be serving this with mashed Yukon Gold potatoes and a side salad. And I could have put this in a bigger cup, couldn't I? I'm going to, let me just do this. And then, I will put that in here. And we'll have a little easier time mixing it. Now, if I don't use all of this in this pan, what I will do is save some of it to um, use almost like a gravy because it's just cream of chicken soup and milk. do that a little later because I'm not ready to cook it quite yet. And I'm going to take this and just make some strips. Now we'll put some of the Swiss cheese. I didn't salt it, you notice, because the cheeses are salty. We can always put uh, salt on it at the table. A little bit of the cheddar. The soup mixture. I'll save a little bit to heat up for the potatoes. The stuffing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I said, everything is cooked. I could eat it right now. I could eat it right now. And a little more of the cheddar cheese. This is nothing if not cheesy. And that's all she wrote. Boy, does that look good. Let me just clean this a bit. You 
get you a little closer. That looks totally edible. Alright, so this is going to go in an oven, uncovered, uh, alright, for 30 minutes, then uncover it for another 15 and let the cheese all melt on the top. But 30 minutes covered and then uncover it and just cook it till your 30 minutes, till your cheese is all melty. So there you go. I'm not going to cook it right this minute. We're not quite ready for dinner. But I'll bring you back when it's time to take it out of the oven and serve it up. I'll see you in a little while. Bye-bye. And I'm going to serve it with some mashed Yukon potatoes. Compliments of somebody else, not me. And nice Caesar salad. But let me give you a taste. Look at this. I have to put my glasses on, I guess, so you recognize me. I'll bring you right up. Hold on. Here I am. I have some of this casserole with the chicken and cheese and stuffing. Just trying to get a bit of everything before I taste. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, I need another one to taste. Oh my goodness, I didn't think, I mean, I didn't think. I was wondering about the, the cheddar cheese, but you really don't taste cheddar cheese. It just is creamy. Mmm, 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 mmm. That bite was a little hot, but that was okay. All right, I'm shutting this off because I'm diving in. So I'll see you on Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here and you'd like to see some more stuff that we do, hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, I'll see you Tuesday. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay cool. Whatever you need. Take your vaccine. And everybody, play nice now. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.